up guys, my name is Apache and today I'll be showing you how to record all of your games in 1080p and 60fps. So if you've got like a montage, or if you just want to record your games, Shadowplay is probably going to be a good choice for you. It's free. All you need is to have an NVIDIA graphics card and you need to download GeForce Experience. And the link to the website will be down into the description. So go ahead and click on it, and it should take you to the website. So this is going to be the website here. Uh, you should see a green download button, and uh, go ahead and download it. So once you've downloaded GeForce Experience, uh, go ahead and open it up, and it should bring you to a similar window to mine, as you can see on screen. So you're going to have five different options that you can choose from. So I'm just going to go run through all of them. If you've got games, so if you want to optimize any of your games, go ahead and do that. If you've got your drivers, if you want to download the latest driver. And you've got your information and your rig, so it basically tells you your graphics card, your CPU, your RAM, etc. And uh, we've got chill, but we're not going to go into that. And we've got preferences, we'll go into that later as well in the video. So what you're going to do is, uh, as you can see on the top right, it says Shadow Play. So go ahead and click on Shadow Play. And it should bring you to a separate window. Uh, it's going to be turned off when you first uh, click it. So go ahead and click on the switch and it should turn on. So once it's turned on, you'll see uh, four um, options uh, lit up. So you've got Mode. You've got shadow time, you've got quality, and you've got audio. So we're going to go into mode here. So we've got both shadow and manual modes that we can choose from. Or you can uh, have the option to uh, have both of them enabled as well. So what shadow does, it uh, saves the last 20 minutes of your recording. So say like if you've missed a highlight if you did a mad quick scope or something, um, and you've you didn't you weren't recording at the time, um, Shadow will basically record the past 20 minutes, so you won't lose any of that like epic gameplay or any of those epic moments. So uh, Shadow is an amazing like option if you tend to like not record or maybe forget to record. Um, that's basically like a safety measurement sort of thing. And you've obviously got manual recording um, as you would expect with. Um, any other recording software, you just um, press one button and then you should just start recording and uh, you obviously press the button again and you will stop recording. And uh, yeah, you can, it's Alt F9 is the default um, hotkey there. And we have Shadow Time, which uh, links with the Shadow Mode. So basically you can choose um, how far back you want to you want to record your videos. So if you want to record five minutes back, you can go ahead and do that. If you want to record even like one minute back, you can go ahead and do that as well. And obviously the file size will be lower, the uh, lower you go down. So I usually have mine on like 10 minutes. I recommend like 10 minutes. It's decent. So I'll have like a four gig file-ish. So yeah. We've got quality, we've got low, we've got medium, and we've got high. So low quality, you're going to have a pretty damp damn terrible quality but the um, the file size will be a lot lower you got medium and you got high which is going to have a uh, larger file size and uh, if you want to customize your um, quality go ahead and click on the customize option here and uh, it should bring you with three options that you can change so we've got our in-game resolution or our resolution so you can choose whether you want it to record your in-game resolution or any of these options here say you want to record 4K, go ahead and record 4K. If you want to record in 1080p, go ahead and record in 1080p. So with the in-game resolution, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, so say you're recording, or say your game is at 1080p, uh, Shadow, Shadow Play will record at 1080p. And uh, if you're using 720p, your in-game resolution, it will record in 720p as well. Just a bit of a thing there. Frame rate, we've got obviously 30 or 60 FPS depending on um, whether you want to you want a smooth recording but a bigger file size, go ahead and do that. But if you want a more jagged 
uh, recording at 30 FPS, but you want a more smaller file size so you can upload it quicker, go ahead and choose 30 FPS. But for this video, we're just going to go to 60 FPS because we want the uh, smoothest uh, video that we can get. We've got our bitrate, I usually have that in like 60. Uh, you can go ahead and change it to whatever you like though. And lastly, we've got audio. So you can choose whether to record your in-game audio or you can record your microphone as well or you can just turn it off completely. So the in-game audio. Not only does the um, not only does it record your in-game audio, but it records any other background sounds um, on your computer. Say for instance, you've got Spotify open uh, and you're playing music, it's going to record that as well. If you've got Skype, it's going to record your calls. So if you're on a Skype call with someone, or your mate or whatever, it's also going to record that as well. So uh, just a bit of a warning, if you are recording gameplay and you don't want any other sounds but your in-game sound, um, just turn off whatever whatever's making that noise. So if you've got Spotify open, uh, just turn it off. And if you're on a call, just end the call. So, yep, that is that. We've got in-game and microphone. So obviously if you want to record your microphone, uh, go ahead and use that option as well. And uh, obviously you can turn it off completely if you do want to. Uh, so go ahead and click on the cogs here. And it should bring you to preferences tab. So we've got overlays, we've got like three or four options that we can play with here. So we've got overlays firstly, um, you can switch positions of your overlay, so if you want on the bottom right, or if you want on the top right, you can go ahead and do that. Um, you've got your status indicator, so you can basically um, know when you're recording your video or not. So it's just a bit of a, a, bit of a safety measure, measurement there. And you've got your FPS counter, so you can see what FPS you're getting in the game. So that's pretty simple there, pretty simple stuff. And we've got allow desktop capture. If you want to capture your desktop for it, for whatever reason, say maybe if you're doing like a tutorial video like this one, go ahead and tick that box and you should be able to record your desktop. And we've got microphone, so if you want to um if you want to push to talk, if you want to on push to talk, you can go ahead and do that. But I uh, usually have mine on always on because I don't see the point of having it on push to talk if you're recording a video. This is my opinion there. And uh, we've got keyboard shortcuts so you can choose um, your preferences, what shortcuts you prefer and uh, you can go ahead and switch that up. So I've got mine on the default settings here. Um, basically the ones that you really need to know are um, the first one, so save the last um, hour of minutes of recording and uh, you want to know Alt F9 as well. So they're the two main ones. Um, Alt F9 is for manual recording and um, Alt F10 is for shadow recording. So they're the main ones you need to know. And you've obviously got like toggle FPS, push talk, toggle camera, etc. And then lastly we've got recording, so where you want to save your, your files. Right now I've got mine in my F drive. If you've got a um, if you've got an external hard drive and you want to you want to save it on that, go ahead and uh, click on your external hard drive and uh, use that as your default uh, save location for your video files. So that is about all for the video. Uh, that was just a bit of a tutorial on how to use Shadow Play and some of the settings that I uh, that you can use. So if you do enjoy the video and you want to see more videos like this one, uh, go ahead and leave a like and uh, comment on. Um, what you think of the video and uh, if you have any questions go ahead and leave them in the comments below and uh, until next time guys I'll see you all later